So what is going to be with respect to the stock market? What's going to happen? I learned uh, very early in my investing careers, I better not invest in what I want. <laughs> I better invest in what's happening in the world. Otherwise, I'll be broke, dead broke. Well, what's going to happen? Is this going to continue? Some stocks in America are turning into a bubble. Uh, the bubble's going to come, then it's going to collapse. And you should be very worried. But Henry, this is good for you because somebody has to report. So you have job security. You're a lucky soul. Well, yeah, TV ratings do seem to go up during crashes, but then they completely disappear when everyone is obliterated. So nobody is hoping for that. But So when is this going to happen? Later this year or next. Later this year or next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Write it down. And what will trigger it? Well, it's interesting because these things always start where we're not looking. Uh, in 2007, Iceland went broke. And people said, Iceland? Is that a country? They have a market? And then Ireland went broke. And then Bear Stearns went broke. And then, you know, Lehman Brothers went broke. They, they, they spiral like that. Always happens where we're not looking. I don't know, it could be an American pension plan that goes broke, and many of them are broke, as you know. It could be some country we're not watching. It could be all sorts of things. Uh, it could be war, unlikely to be war, but uh, it's going to be something. When you're watching Business Insider and you see, that's so interesting, I didn't know that company could go broke. It goes broke. Send me an email, okay, and then I'll start watching. And how big a crash could we be looking at? It's going to be the worst in your lifetime. Uh, I know I've had some I, pretty big ones I in know, my lifetime. It's long. It's, it's going to be the biggest <laughs> in my lifetime, and I'm older than you. No, it's going to be serious stuff. It's going to be big. We've had uh, financial problems in America. Let's use America every four to seven years since the beginning of the Republic. Well, it's been over eight since the last one. This is the longest or the second longest in recorded history, so it's coming. And the next time it comes, you know, in 2008, we had a problem because of debt. Henry. The debt now, the, that debt was nothing compared to what's happening now. In 2008, the Chinese had a lot of money saved for a rainy day. It started raining, they started spending the money. Now even the Chinese have debt, and the debt is so much higher. The Federal Reserve, the central bank in America, balance sheet is up over five times since 2008. It's going to be the worst in, your, the worst in my lifetime, too. Be worried. I am worried. Good, good. Can the Fed rescue us? Can anybody rescue us? They will try. They will, they will, what's going to happen is they're going to raise interest rates some more. Then when things start going really bad, people are going to call and say, you must save me. This Western civilization is going to collapse. And the Fed, who's made up of bureaucrats and politicians, will say, well, we better do something. So they will try, but it won't work. It will cause some rallies, but it won't work this time. And we are in a situation where Western civilization already seems to be possibly collapsing, even with the market going up all the time, often when you do have a financial calamity, you get huge turmoil in the political system. What happens politically if that happens? Well, that's why I moved to Asia. <laughs> my, my children speak Mandarin because of what's coming. Uh, you're going to see uh, governments fail. You're going to see countries fail this time around. Iceland failed last time. Other countries fail. You're going to see more of that. You're going to see parties disappear. You're going to see institutions that have been around for a long time. Lehman Brothers have been around over 150 years, gone. Not even a memory for most people. Well, that's, you're going to see a lot more of that next time around, whether it's museums or hospitals or universities or financial firms. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutation to the Akim out there pushing this truth of sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. I'm Brother Samak from the GMS Miami camp and the video you just seen there um, is pretty much the, um, the, the reality that's coming to America, all right? You have a top investment banker, uh, excuse me, investor, Jim Rogers predicting as well as other various investors saying hey the next financial collapse is going to be worse than ever and this is all through the spare and poverty how about you because america has to collapse so let me get to the first scripture and get into some um news articles this is the book of james uh chapter 5 verse 1 go to now ye rich men weep and howl for your miseries 
that shall come upon you. Right, you wealthy, okay, rich people here in America, mainly you so-called white people, man. You're going to be howling in those days. You're going to be weeping in those days. You're going to be gnashing of teeth, crying, okay? When you see your, your precious wealth, your assets just disappear overnight, all right? Because no one is exempt for a financial collapse except if you're part of the 1%, which are made up the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, okay, the DuPonts, all right? The real owners of this world. So you, you so-called millionaires, billionaires, all right? You're going to get caught up in this madness, man, and you're going to uh, feel the, the hurt, and you're going to howl, and you're going to weep, all right? Verse 2, your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Verse 3. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. Right. All you so-called uh, doomsday preppers, especially those that are building bunkers and all that. All right. Your gold and silver, what are you going to do with that? All right. You're just going to have it to sit there in your, in your bunker, okay, while everything is collapsing in front of your eyes, man. All right. Because if you're in the city... And the economy collapses and they have to implement martial law right there and there. Where Are you going to be able to run to your bunker? Okay. Your gold and silver is cankered and the rust of them shall be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. You have, reaped, you have heaped treasure together for the last days. Right. This is the last days, man. You have, okay, had fun at that, at that casino, Wall Street. All right. Like this uh, investor said, man, it, it's going to be the worst he's ever seen in his life, okay? And this guy is uh, Jim Rogers, uh, a pretty well-renowned um, person amongst the, uh, the rich. So all you clowns thinking that um, things are just going to get better, um, stock market, the, the, the stock market looks great. That's all an illusion, man. First of all, the reason why the stock market is the way it is is because the Federal Reserve keeps injecting, okay, cheap cash into the into the stocks. That's it. It's a, all one big illusion. All right. But yeah, back to uh, James chapter five verse three. Your gold and silver is canker, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. And that's really what is coming, mainly to you so-called white people, you so-called black Spanish and Native Americans. You don't have gold and silver. So you're you're asked out. If the Lord is not dealing with you, if you're not coming, um, um, knowing that you're an Israelite, for starters, you're asked out in America. You're going to be put down to death. Okay, you're useless, man. All right. But this is this uh, video is more uh, aiming towards you, so-called white people, man, because you 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 retards in America are so proud. All right, and um, that proud uh, mentality is coming to an end. Now, let's get to a news article that I have right here. This is from Time Money. And this is, uh, this came out June 16, 2017. It's going to collapse. Five scary stock market predictions from smart investors. I'm gonna read, let me blow this up so I can read this to you. It says, stocks have been trading at, at or near record highs, but not everyone is so certain that the acceleration will continue. One measure of optimism Fund flows showed a reversal last month with fund investors, a group that largely consists of middle class American retirement savers, pulling more than two billion net in May from domestic stock mutual funds and ETFs. All right. So you have middle class American retirement savers, all right, who are investing in mutual funds in the domestic stock, which is here in America, pulling their funds out, pulling their money out. All right. Because they know what's coming, man. All right? And those that pull their money out, you're still going to get caught up in this madness. All right? Because when they implement martial law, it doesn't matter how much money you have in your, in your coffers. All right? Many professional investors are expressing concern as well. The following five investors of all whom saw signs of the 2008 financial collapse are now forecasting declines ahead, many in quite dire terms. While none should send you screaming for the exits, after all, many experts were making sim similarly grim predictions a year ago. Their jitters should serve as a good reminder to revisit your portfolio and make any needed adjustments to your investing mix, particularly if you're likely to need the money soon. Right, man, because, you know, the 
America hasn't hit a, 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 a recession or a depression since 2008, all right? And they call it the Great Recession. Really, it was depression, all right? They just like to use the media to uh, mask this uh, bullshit illusion. But you're seeing that, all right, it's already on our eighth year, all right, that uh, we haven't hit a big uh, recession. So this it's coming. This collapse is coming. When exactly will the good times end? That's a futile question, says Rob Arnett, founder of Research Affiliates and Investment Strategy Firm. People always ask, what is the catalyst that caused the market to break? Catalysts are, by definition, surprise, he says, quote, even after, you can't always define it, end quote. It's going to be agonized. So these are the five top uh, stock um, investors. This is a uh, Tom Forrester, Chief Investment Officer at Force Capital Management. Tom Forrester has already predicted one stock downturn. Before the market collapsed in 2008, Forrester sold off enough bank stocks to bring his fund's financial holdings down to 5% at the time when the financial sector made up to 20% of the S&P 500 index. Institutional investor highlighted his fund as the sole long only mutual fund in the U.S. to gain in 2008. Now Forrester isn't sleeping well again. The last two crashes, he says, were sparked by one industry's failure, tech in 2000 and housing in 2008. This, ground, this go around, he fears almost every sector has become overvalued, right? That's, that's how you know the stock market is bullshit, man. It's overvalued, all right? All it is is the Federal Reserve is just injecting cheap cash into the system, man, to make it look valuable, all right? And it's overvalued, man. In fact, nine of the S&P's 10 sectors are more expensive than their historical 10-year average, according to recent fact sec report. Quote, the next time we, we see a bear market, it's going to be agonized for us instead. There won't be anyone to hide on the way down. Exactly, man. All right, so you rich people, even you rich people are going to get, feel the effects. Like I said, if you're not a 1%, i.e. Um, a Rothschild, a Rockefeller, a DuPont, if you don't come from old money, okay, renaissance money, you ain't going to make it, all right? So let's get back to uh, Jim Rogers, the man you just seen. It's going to collapse. Months before the 2008 stock market collapse, Jim Rogers, the legendary investor who founded Quantum Fund with George Soros, was shortening the shares of Wall Street investment banks. Now he says a crash is again imminent. Quote, some stocks in America are turning into a bubble. The bubble is going to come and then it's going to collapse. End quote. He told Business Insider this month on his weekly show, The Bottom Line. Quote, you should be very worried. End quote, Rogers said. The 2008 financial collapse was as bad as it was because of the debt at the time. But the debt born today in the U.S. and China and even the Federal Reserve dwarfs that of 2008. He said, right, because even China's feeling the effects of, an, of the of, uh, economic collapse, man. And China's going to go down too, man, because the, the, the next superpower that's coming is the kingdom of Israel, man, all right, which you Christian retards like to say the kingdom of heaven, all right. Yeah, it is going to be. It's going to be the, the Israelites' heaven, man. The 12 tribes ruling over all the nations, okay? With the debt so high, Congress could have less room to cut taxes to borrow and spend to help restart growth in the midst of, the, of a recession. In the long run, high levels of government debt also typically translate into higher interest rates, making it more difficult for both government and business to invest in the economy, right? And the economy, all right, is... Is, is faltered, man. The economy is an illusion, all right? You have more people out of work today than you did eight years ago, all right? That's why the unemployment, okay, rate is a lie, man, all right? And really, the unemployment rate is those claiming unemployment. That's not saying those that stop claiming unemployment, those are that are um, can't, uh, those that don't benefit for unemployment rate, the unemployment services, they exalted all of it, so they don't even qualify anymore, all right? Quote, how big a crash could be? we be looking at? End quote. Business Insider CEO Henry Bulget asked, quote, it's going to be the biggest in my lifetime. End quote. The 70-year-old investor said. There you have it, man. The biggest in his lifetime. And he's 70 year, 74 years old. All right? So you people that uh, were born after him, all right, what do you got to say? All right? Especially if you're 30 and under. All right? Those that are just uh, barely making it, working paycheck to paycheck, all right? 
What, what's going to happen with your uh, assets or your or if you are investing in the stock market? All right. Quote, asset holders will lose 50%, end quote. Mark Faber, Swiss investor and author of the monthly newsletter, quote, the gloom, boom, and doom report. Right. They call him Mr. Doom because he's always saying a collapse is coming. And guess what? He's, he's right. The collapse is coming. All right. Full disclosure. Mark Faber is always preparing for a stock apocalypse. That's why he's commonly referred to as Mr. Doom. Still, he insists. There's method to his misery. And right now, he sees two red flags flapping in the market. One, on the New York Stock Exchange, there are currently more stocks purchased on margin. That is, with investors borrowing money to buy. Right. Because nobody has actual wealth anymore. Everybody's been taking out loans and taking out credit. All right. That's how you know. That's another reason, part two, besides the Federal Reserve, okay, putting money to the stock market, all right? What you see here in the main economy, all right, an illusion of wealth, just people borrowing, all right, and saying, I'll pay back in the future 10 years, 15 years from now, okay? And the, the money that they're borrowing has a high interest rate, all right? So the only ones that are really benefiting are the big international banks, okay? So that's another illusion. That's another reason why uh, America's done, man. This is all an illusion. People don't actually ha actually have real cash on hand. It's all through loans and credit, man. That's it. Then, since at least the 1950s, that trends to happen when the stock market's expensive as it is today. Right. So you're having retards taking out loans to buy expensive stock markets, which has been overvalued by the Federal Reserve. All right. That's how you know this shit cannot sustain. This is over. Continuing on. Prices are actually out of control, Faber says. The historical average price to earnings ratio is around 10, but it's around 30 today. All right, it's a born big illusion. Once people start selling, Faber warns grimly, there will be an avalanche. Quote, I think a realistic scenario is that asset holders will lose 50% of their assets. End quote. Faber says, quote, some people will lose everything. That's right. Mainly your uh, your six pack Joe Edomites who are the so called white people and you so called black Spans and Native Americans majority of you all right because you don't have nothing so you're gonna so whatever you have you're gonna lose lose it all all right that's why martial law is coming that's why FEMA camps are being built because they know this economy is going to collapse. His other major concerns is that only a small number of stocks are driving the bulk of the stock market's ascent. Indeed. Just five companies accounted for almost third of the S&P 500's total gains in 2016. This means that investors are relying on fewer companies to carry the market, he points out. Quote, if only a handful of shares are moving up, it's a sign, Faber says, the market isn't healthy. Right. You only have a few people eating. The rest are not eating. So it's going to drag those that are eating down. It's like a domino effect. All right. Just like what happened in 08 when the, uh, like the, this Edomite, Jim Rogers, stated, man. Okay, Lehman Brothers. Lehman Brothers exacerbated almost all these other banks. Merrill Lynch, okay, Morgan Stanley, all right, BFA, which is Bank of America, okay. Even Chase would have felt a, 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 a hit from it, all right. Quote, all markets are increasingly at risk, end quote. This is from Bill Gross, all right? And I believe uh, Brother Yakov from the San Francisco camp, he brought an article on this investor, okay? Saying the same thing, man, all right? Bill Gross, manager of Janice Henderson of Global Oncestrate Bond Fund, quote, uh, so I can uh, make this big again so you can read it. Quote, don't be mesmerized by the blue skies, end quote, Bill Gross, the well-known bond investor said in his June Investment Outlook letter. Quote, all markets are increasingly at risk. Before the storm of 2008, Gross stashed away $50 billion in cash for when he, his trading partners wanted payment from his firm. Now he worries that the risks have piled up again. Investors have resorted to making money with money, Gross says, with more money funneled into the financial economy than the real economy. Right, where's that money coming from? Where is it being funneled? The Federal Reserve. When you match... That with the U.S. high debt, aging population, and automation of labor, right, technology, that's what he's saying, automation of labor, right, everything's going technology, um, right, computers, robots, okay, you have a big problem for productivity, gross argues, and production, Slovakia, 
build this up. And pro productivity, he says, is the long-term drive of economy and growth on profits. The current sets of challenges, Gross says, promises to stunt U.S. and global growth far below historical norms, end quote. Robert Arnett, there's not enough fear. That's one of his big statements. Rob Arnett is dubbed the godfather of smart beta, the popular passive investing strategy that pulled in more than 20, 55 billion last year. Arnett gives investment advance advice to people all over the planet. In 2007 interview with Bloomberg, he said a recession was coming. Lately, he's not feeling too good about the U.S. stock market. Investors are devoid of necessary caution, he says. Quote, in the United States, there's not enough fear, end quote. Right, because these stupid Americans are too busy watching basketball and baseball, and they're too busy um, involved in their own bullshit little world, man, and their and their and their uh, and their celebrity uh, demagogues that they're not understanding the mechanics of what's about to happen, man. All right, and so they have no fear. They're really let's you know what? Let me get us. That's a perfect time for a scripture. All right, Salakia. I was gonna bring this out after, but let me bring out the scripture now because Spirit just got me to bring out the scripture that I had already set. All right, this is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 11. How ye inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the merchant people are cut down, all they that bear silver are cut off. Right, Maktesh was a, a prosperous city back in, in, in the time of when Israel, all right, Jerusalem, all right, capital is Jerusalem, all right, one of the cities, man. And, and this is the Lord was telling our people at that time, hey, man, the, the, it's about to be cut down. All that that bear the silver, like all this is about to be done, man. Ain't gonna be no more uh, um, getting rich out here, all right? Uh, verse 12, Now shall come the path of the time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves, right? And this is talking to our people. So you heathens that are here in America, man, you are screwed. You definitely settled on your leaves, all right? Because our people are selling leaves and they don't have nothing. Or you heathens, you you so-called white people, you you um, which are the Edomites, you Chinese people, which are the Moabites. You Japanese people, which are the Ammonites. All right, all right. Ishmael, all right, which are which are uh, the uh, Arabs. All right, and uh, Elam, you, you so-called Indians. All right, you're definitely selling your lease here in America, thinking Wall Street's gonna save you, man. All right, that's how you know, man. The, the times that we're living in is gonna is 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 is, is a horrific times, man. That's about to come. And a lot of you people are not prepared, man. You just you're having fun here in America. That's saying their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will will He do evil. Verse thirteen, right? And that's and that's talking about our people, man. Our people really thinks that the the Lord is just some softy, man. All right. And you heathens, man, you don't even you don't even you don't even believe in the Lord. So that's how you know the Lord's about to show His power, man, by bringing your all your wealth, okay, taking your wealth away from you. All right, taking your riches, and, all right, and taking it right from you, man. Verse 13, therefore, their goods shall become booty and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. They shall plant by yards, but not drink the wine thereof. Right, man, because everything will be taken away from you, man, especially, especially here in America, man. You're not going to have nothing, all right? And this is this is the judgment that we here at Great Mills have, have been proclaiming, all right, starting with our apostles of Great Millstone over 30 years, man, all right, that America is going to be judged and it's going to be a, one of the worst times ever, man. Like that guy Jim Rogers says, the worst crash in our lifetime. You're damn right, all right? Uh, I'm going to finish. Let me get back to the article, then I'll um, get to another article. So let's get back to the prediction. He says, lately he's not feeling too good about the U.S. stock market. Investors are devoid of ne necessary caution, he says. And quote, in the United States, there's not enough fear, end quote, Arnett says. Quote, there's a sense that the risks are not there, end quote. Yet a shift could come at any moment, he adds. Quote, markets move with the changes in perception, end quote, Arnett says. W quote, one bad thing could cause a downturn, end quote. And we may be due for that one bad thing, that one bad thing, he cautions. Quote, it's hard to paint a rosy picture for any long-term investor. The market is just too expensive, Arnett says. Quote, at any point, it might roll over and die. That's right, man. And that's what's going to happen, man. It's going to roll over and die. Finito. Finish, man. And that's America's judgment. All right? And, and, and that's when the martial law hits. 
That's when uh, the cities are quarantined. That's when they're going to roll out the RFID chip. That's when uh, America and Russia are going to be fighting, all right, whatever little scraps, all right, because America is going to pull the whole global economy on it, okay, onto its knees, man, all right, and that's why everybody's going to hate America because it's, it's one big illusion, man, and it's time for that veil to be revealed and to expose it, and that's what's happening, man. Um, let me get back to another article. When pensions funds go empty, all bets are off. Right. So you people that have pensions, man, you you government employees, whether it be state, state level to federal level, man, you're going to feel it, man. All right. So you police officers, you firefighters, you teachers, okay, who they say may, are the are the middle class who make up the backbone of the American economy. Okay. You are going to feel it. All right. And this article came out October 10, 2015. So how close are we now? All right. You maggots, you retards. All right. Just a little bit right here. I want to read this part. Some 407,000 Teamsters are learning a painful lesson. Their private sector pensions aren't as safe, safe as they they once thought. Right, man. You, you this is over, man. You put in your faith in the mighty dollar, man. You're an asshole. All right. Pay attention, government workers and taxpayers in New York and New Jersey. Right, New York and New Jersey. All right. And there's a part where it says New York and New Jersey. Is is um is one of the most taxed people on the planet. It says last week. So lock it. Let me see where it's at, because it made a good point here too. Uh, hold on one second. Bear with me. All right, here we go. Trouble is, New York and New Jersey. Here's the point. All right. New York and New Jersey taxpayers already bear a heavier load than in any other state and have been fleeing the air for years. Squeeze them too hard to plug pension gaps and you start losing taxpayers in downward spiral, right? So there you have it, man, all right? You got people leaving the, the, the central hub of New York. You got investors, okay, saying the economy is going to collapse. All right. This article says your pensions are gone. All right. Jim Rogers said your pensions in God are gone. You, you, you Americans are out of luck, man, and you're running out of time. Okay. So it behoove y'all, man, to um, man, just just get ready, man. Get ready and um, and get ready to experience the pain, man, the sorrows. Right, and you so called black spans and the Americans that are watching this video, man, you don't have enough time either. So, you better get right with the Lord and come back to your true nationality, or you're going to be caught up in this burden. All right, let's go uh, to uh, back to the scriptures, Zephaniah chapter 1, starting at uh, uh, well, continuing on to 14. The great Salakia, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty men shall cry there bitterly. Right, man. You're gonna all these people are gonna cry, man, when the Lord returns, man. The Lord has had it up to here with you scoffers, you reprobates, you wicked people on the planet, man. Right, especially with the so called white man. All right. And two thirds of our own people. All right. Which are the so called black spans and Native Americans. Verse fifteen. The day of the uh the that day is, is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wantness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Verse 16, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. Right, man. It's, you know, that's it's supposed to be a a, a, a a trumpet, man, alarm. Like, you know, nobody's even sounding the trumpet and alarm. Of what's what's happening in America, man. All right, you think your CNN and your Fox News are going to report the impending economic collapse, all right, or the coming of the Lord? Hell no, man. They're so proud and mighty; they think they got everything figured out, man. But the, the Lord is breaking that shit, man. Verse seventeen, and I will bring the stress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood should be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung, right? Because a lot of people are going to die when that collapse happens, man, all right? There's going to be civil wars. You already got uh, uh, the narrative for Republican versus Democrat, right? A Republican um, 
congressman that got shot. All right, whether you believe the narrative or not, doesn't matter. Okay, you got retards that actually believe the news and they believe, okay, that there are uh, radical leftists and radical right that are, are planning to overthrow governments, overthrow, okay, people, elected officials. So it's going to be all hell breaking loose, man. All right, that's why martial law has to come and it will come and, it, and a lot of people will die because of it. All right, because you think people are gonna, ex you, especially the so-called white man who's like, you won't take my guns, not over my dead body. All right, because he lives by the sword. That's Esau. That's the blessing he was g given, the sword. All right, so a lot of people are gonna die, man. Zephaniah chapter one verse eighteen: Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. Right. So you rich people, man. All right, even you elitists, you Illuminati, man, you Freemasons, you Jesuit order. All right. All you secret societies, you, your gold and silver is not going to save in the, door, in, the, in the Lord's wrath, man. All right? So you could build those bunkers. You can hide in them and just wait for us. When we, Lord, when we, Lord, when I'm part of the elect, but wait for the elect and, and with, who's coming with the Lord to take you out of them, okay? Them bunkers, man. And in, in, the, and in the mountains, you hide yourselves in because you're going into slavery. But the whole land shall be devoured by fire of his jealousy. Right, man. Flames coming here, man. Big fires coming here in America. And that's when the nukes drop. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all of them that dwell in the land. Right. So that's coming to that's coming to America, man. All right? It's plain and simple. Okay? And um, last scripture, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 17. Charge them that are rich in the world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches. Right. All right, so this is a charge against you, you, you elitists, man. Those that are rich in the world, man. Okay. Just because you on you got everything you ever wanted, and that you can ever touch, man, don't mean that can last forever. All right. Your own, your own investors, man. Your own, uh, your own race is telling you that this shit ain't gonna last. All right. But the living power who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, but in the living power. Who give all, us all richly in all things to enjoy. Right. And that's talking to the elect, man. Who who know that these riches is not going to last. Who know the economy is not going to last. All right. And that's how. What's so beautiful about these scriptures, man. There's a balance to everything. All right. You rich people in this world. You think you got everything figured out. Don't worry, man. See, the elect. We know where our, our, where our riches are at. Man. And that's in the kingdom in heaven, man. All right. But you rich people here on earth. That, that want to act like this, Wall Street is going to last forever. You got a rude awakening, man. All right? This place is going to collapse. Your investors have said it. We here at Great Mill still have been saying it. All right? Because we the Bible said it. Okay? Who the world you you ignorantly call God and Jesus have been said it. All right? And that's and that's and that's the times we're living in because it's time to end your your rulership, you so-called white people. It's time to end America, man, once and for all. All right? It's time to dig. It's time to dig a big hole for America and bury this bitch, cause it's over. And with that, Lord willing, that was edifying. Okay. Uh, once again, you got these investors stating, "Hey, shit is over, man. All right, the economy's going to collapse." And I, um, I ain't got nothing to say. I just want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostle of Great Millstone, and salutation to the Akim out there pushing this truth of sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Love you, brothers. Keep enduring. Keep the faith. We're almost out of here. So you can see from the...